Okay, well that doesn't look like much. But you know what? That's a major victory right there. That was a complete failure a few weeks ago. And I tried for days and days and days to get that to run and just gave up on it and walked away from it. Did a video on failure and what it's like to reach a certain point where you just have to leave it alone and then go on to something else. Well, what I learned from that ended up with this. And that's a major success. That thing right there, that uh, was a huge success. And I've done this, a number of videos on that uh, Sterling engine. And then from that project, of course, I went on to the uh, free piston Sterling engine, the soda can, which I'm still working with uh, here. But then I took a break and went back to this to see if I could get it to run. I spent a few hours, did a few things differently on it, based on what I learned on that project and that project, and got this to work. It barely works. But it works. It was a very, very poor design. Um, but I went back into it and did a couple of modifications and got it to work, got it to run. And uh, if anybody has failures uh, on these projects and you really think you're close to it, just leave it alone for a while. Go do something else and uh, maybe something along the same line and then come back to it. And this is an example of how you can sometimes go back to a failure make a few modifications to the design or whatever. Don't spend a lot of time with it, but at least get it to operate. So anyway, this was a follow-up on the uh, Sterling engine failure that uh, I finally got to work. Thanks for watching.